Welcome back to a, uh, another tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be kind of the same as the last one. However, we are not going to be using a, uh, a gear device, which you can do and watch the other video if you have one. Um, we're going to be using a Bluetooth headset. And you can get these really cheap if you don't have one. I didn't have one, so I went out and bought one. I uh, got it at Walmart for $8.88 on sale. You know, doesn't matter. Any Bluetooth headset's gonna work that's gonna pair with your device. Um, and it's gonna get you through. And it's pretty much the same method as the last video, if you watched that one. Um, so you're gonna need to be able to access the install wizard. And if you can't access the install wizard, because on some firmwares, it comes up with a white screen that says, you know, whatever, whatever, you can access it. Um, you're gonna wanna downgrade your firmware using Odin. And if you need to know how to do that, um, I that's in the last video. Um, if enough people request it, I guess I can make a video. There's plenty of videos out there on uh, how to use Odin. Um, you can use Jodin on Mac, you can use Odin on Windows, whatever. Um, downgrade to the stock firmware or a previous firmware that's going to give you the ability to access the install wizard, as you'll see you know, further on in this video. Um, anyway, I want to give some credit to, I, I had already thought about this, uh, any device that opens up a pre-installed application um, that's going to be able to allow you to access, you know, Google Chrome um, or anything that's going to access the uh, a web browser is going to work. Uh, I didn't happen to have a Bluetooth headset, but one of the commenters on my last video did, and they tried it out and successfully did it. And it's extremely easy. Um, just like with the uh, gear, it's it's they're both extremely easy to do. But this one's going to show you. I mean, if you don't have one, run out and get one at Walmart. Run out and get one wherever you want. Um, you know, they have liberal return policies. If you happen to not like it and return it after you use it, um, me, it's eight bucks. So I'm going to just you know probably throw it in a junk drawer um, because I don't use Bluetooth headsets. But to each their own. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this and let's uh, get going. All right, let's get into it. As you guys can see, once again, we've got the FRP on this. And we are just going to go back. Okay, so on your internet, hopefully, like I've always said, it's as coolly named as Sausage Fingers. Um, you're going to have to be able to turn it off and turn it on as you wish. I have my hand on a switch on a power strip to kill my internet. If you have another phone, you can use a mobile hotspot that's much easier and a lot faster. It takes a little bit for this Wi-Fi to get back up after this. Um, and let's get to it. So you're going to click Next, click Next, and Agree, and it's going to be almost immediate. And I just turned it off. I may have turned it off too early. We'll see. Just because with the power strip, it doesn't kill the power immediately. And so I always click it early with the power strip. And we got in. So it just shows you you can go a little bit early on that. All right, now we're going to wait. Oh, just flick that power on. We're going to wait for the uh, Wi Fi to uh, come back up. And I'm going to take this moment, as I do in all my videos, to tell you guys about techmule.tech. Once again, if you've watched my other videos, you know that is a website I am designing and building right now, which is going to be home to all of this fun, techy stuff, um, reviews, I guess, things like that, whatever. We're at 19% battery. Let's hope we get through this with 19% battery, which we should. Um, another thing, obviously, you need your Bluetooth headset. Um, I think that's, you know, a given, being that we started with it. See, if you're on a Wi-Fi hotspot right now, it, you would already be up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to give it a second just because if you first hit privacy policy right after it comes up, it, you're going to hit, it's not going to go up. Got to wait till that internet juice is flowing through your phone. See, it's still not even flowing through. I'm just going to click close and re click it. Okay. 
Come on. See, it's still not. There we go. All right, we're going to scroll down, going to select some text. Um, now, in this portion, if you can't click share, if you can't select text, if when you click share, it comes up to a white screen with some text saying that you can't you know, get to this little guy, if you can't get to this little guy, you're going to need to downgrade your firmware to a point where you can. Um, and I've tried it on all the phones and it is possible on all of them. So downgrade till you can. And then you're going to click either this little green guy or there's going to be a purple icon and you're just going to hold it. And that is going to launch Setup Wizard. And here, just a real quick check, this is the first video you've watched about doing this. If your clear data is clickable, go to my very first video and you can see a way to easily bypass with that little button. But for us, we're going to click four stop and we're going to pull down this. You see, when you four stop that uh, setup wizard, you're able to access this. You can't select you know, the settings or anything like that. But what we can do is we can turn on Bluetooth. So turning on Bluetooth, we're now going to turn on the Bluetooth headset if it's not already on. And we are going to put it in discovery mode by holding this button. Every Bluetooth headset is going to be different. There we go. Now we're going to pair. And we are connected. Now when we click this little button to talk, we're going to get these two options. Don't do Google app. Select S voice. OK. Allow. You can click next. I agree, next, and later. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to click the button talk and say, well, it's already doing it, but you want to say Chrome. And that's going to give us this, where we can launch Chrome. Going to click it, do OK, put the Bluetooth headset down, we're done. That's all you need it for. Accept and continue, no thanks. And we are going to type in root junkie sdl.com and go. We are going to scroll down to apps. We are going to scroll down and select FRP. We are going to scroll down once again, and on this very top, you're going to see rootjunkie.frp bypass. Click on that. You are going to select allow and then OK down here at the bottom. Now we're going to come up top and we're going to type in Samsung apps. Go down, don't click those, it's going to put you back to the FRP screen. Click this top link, Samsung, Samsung Galaxy Apps. Scroll down and select Samsung Galaxy Apps. It's going to pull you into the uh, Samsung store where we're going to agree. And then we're going to search for ES File Explorer. Then we're going to click download and you're going to have to sign into your account, your Samsung account that is. All right, now we're signed in. It's going to come up with a thing for us to accept and download which of course we're going to do. Click that, click into file, the file explorer, and we're going to wait for this to be done installing and then we're going to click the open button. Dun, 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 dun. Open, bypass all this tutorial garbage not update when it pops up and asks us to cancel and we are going to go to that little app and click on it then we are going to click install package installer go to settings we're going to turn unknown sources on 
click install at the bottom wait for that to install we're going to click open we're going to click the three dots up top select browser sign in click OK and here you're going to put in your Google account that you have the password to and sign in click go put in your password or accidentally hit the wrong thing because the uh, screen jumped there we go put in your password click go and sign in it's gonna kick you back to here and that's fine now we're just gonna mash this back button all the way until we get out and back to here click close get back to the Google search page click down click next this is going to bring us back to the welcome screen don't worry it's all part of it click next you're connected to your internet click next click next agree and there we go account added your first account is ready for use you can add and remove accounts later in we are into the phone click next just a sec it's probably gonna sit here for more than just a sec if you've seen any of the other videos you know that this is just part of it we've gotta wait for this to be done Not sure why they chose those words just a sec. No. I should say this is going to take forever. Turn off my Bluetooth headset that I will never use again. Well, you never know that actually. Could come in to use with a future bypass. If you can't sell, judging by all of the videos that I've been putting out, and I will have a couple more coming, um, Google needs to step up their game. Google and Samsung, both of them. So, I mean, the fact that I have found multiple ways to bypass the FRP and Google account lock is just, it's just baffling. I mean... There's no real protection on your phone. I mean, the only avenue you have is if your phone does get lost or stolen, report it as lost or stolen. At least block your IMEI, blacklist that phone. Um, not all the time will it blacklist it across the board. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Um, there's still methods to have it cleared, or people you can pay people, but whatever. All right, we're in. Let's stop talking about that crap. No thanks, we're just going to go through all this stuff. Um, if you want to actually set up your account, go for it. This just a sec should take just a sec. There we go. Go down, click later, finish. And we're going to get this. Not a big deal. You click it, it's going to come back. It's not going to give it anything. You can't access anything besides all the apps and all that. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to click this power button, restart, and let the phone restart. It's interesting because in my other video, doing the exact same method but with my Mac, um, for some reason it threw up a custom ROM icon on your bootload screen. Um, yet I use the exact same files and everything. I mean, it's just really interesting how it, it differentiates and how your phone will take it. And look at that. We are officially into the phone. We can access everything. It's all good to go. You're now into your phone, and 
can use it as if you just factory reset it. All right, we successfully bypassed your FRP or Google Lock using a Bluetooth headset, um, eight bucks or wherever you got one. I mean, you could probably go on Craigslist and get one for a dollar. Maybe somebody's gonna win one for free. I mean, that's what I'll be doing. If anybody wants this, I'll give it to you. Not really, but I'm gonna wear it every day and I'm gonna answer my phone calls and I'm gonna look badass at Starbucks. But we bypassed it, got into your phones. As always, subscribe, follow, tweet, Share, Facebook, do it all. Just do it all. Put this video everywhere that it shouldn't be. And then come back and watch more videos. Till next time.